discover uh, how iron was smelted in a bloomery furnace from the time first iron was first used until late medieval times. People used bloomery furnaces. And what a bloomery furnace is, it's essentially a clay tube that you put the iron ore and charcoal in don't get molten iron coming out of the bottom, and a lot of people misunderstand this. You're not trying to make cast iron, you're actually melting off the, the waste material, the silica and other things in the rock, and the iron stays behind as a big lump called a bloom, like a cauliflower. So that's what a bloomery furnace is, and that's what I've got in there. I'll take you in to show you that in a minute. Yeah. So we'll do our stints and I'll hold that's a good question because the, the burning is slightly slower than last week. So let's move on. Let's see. It's not that simple because you can do that and, and all the all the bloom flows away. So you've got to quite tricky to get it right. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a... What, what we're doing now is burning down the last of the charcoal. It's three quarters of that column of charcoal that burnt down. We've got about that much left. It's burning quite fast. It'll take about seven or eight minutes to get to the level of the bloom. And the bloom is the lump of iron with the slag hanging onto the bottom of it. slag, that bit slagged, odd bits of it, that's a bit of slag there, mainly slag. That's the bloom. If you were a prehistoric person, you'd start beating that now to consolidate it. Well, I, I won't, I think. Because then you can look at it. And here's a... Oh, this looks very nice. Uh, that, that bit looks quite good. Too. It's if I don't walk five out of the furnace room. <laughs> good iron so that's not that's by no means a failure and that that's solid enough to be able to use I mean that you could make uh, it's enough for a good a big knife